Okay, so I continue my, my talk. <coughs> so today, uh, it's a third part. So properties. <coughs> So uh, to prove some properties, uh, more pro properties on character circle, uh, so in, in, in the definition yesterday, I just uh, used the, the local acyclicity of uh, family of motion to curves. But now to prove something uh, more, uh, I need a similar condition uh, for uh, motion of fam uh, family of motion to surfaces. <coughs> so let me state this first. <coughs> so, so the definition is quite similar. So I just replace uh, uh, <coughs> from, uh, curve by, by surface. surface. So, so x will be as before. So yesterday this was C, but today it will be P. So, so, uh, so this is smooth smooth. smooth. And so yesterday it, uh, it was just flat, but now I assume smooth. So this is smooth smooth. smooth. Uh, to, to smooth sub surface. <coughs> so so P, P, P stands for a surface. <coughs> so we say uh, this is uh, uh, non characteristic uh, if. <coughs> So the, the, same, the condition uh, now, now looks the same. So the intersection uh, is, so yeah, so, so yesterday uh, the, the, we, we just assumed that uh, most of it is flat. So we, we didn't have injection, but now we assume some, so we can talk about the, the, the ima image. So <coughs> image of DF, yeah, so now uh, I have, uh, sorry. <coughs> X cross P. Uh, so, so today uh, this is uh, injection. So, uh, so we can talk about uh, the image. So this is uh, inside the, the zero section. So this is uh, one condition, and also, uh, so. So we, we had the second condition yesterday, and it looks uh, quite uh, the same. So the intersection with the zero section, and we regard this as a uh, <coughs> closed subset of x, and uh, it, this should be uh, flat, <coughs> flat over, over p uh, for every i. So it's so 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 this is uh, an uh, so this is non characteristic with respect to. But this is only a closed subset, or is it a skin? Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. So 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 this so this, this is uh, so I I I I regard this as a uh, as a reduced closed subset. Close, close, reduced close subset, and uh, this is, this is uh, I, I define this as a fiber product. So this has some scheme structure. Is it uh, necessary for you to have flatness, or is it enough that uh, uh, it's uh, dominant uh, and? Uh, no, uh, actually, I, I I I I I need this this flatness. <coughs> so this is a bit strong condition. No, but the problem is that uh, when you make a tar localization, you may the composers are into several branches, and then the condition of dominant, like what you have for, is preserved, but but uh, the flatness is not preserved under the composition into branches, and the problems you are studying are kind of a tar local, so it is unnatural to make a definition which is not uh, sufficiently bears well under a tar. Well, so SI is already fixed, so under one. Uh, after it's localization, I don't change the, 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 the numbering. Yes, but the, the condition looks not very stable by localization. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yes. Because when yeah. originally the SI are reducible components. Yeah. So it's it's <coughs> then this is not stable. Not stable. Mm. Probably. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah. 
But yeah, but I need to put some condition anyway. So, uh, so and this 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 works for me. Mm. Maybe this is not the best definition, but uh, I put it like this. So this is for one, uh, one more system. So uh, as as yesterday, uh, I need. I need to work with families. <clears throat> so the, the second part is that, uh, so we, I, I draw the same uh, diagram. So, so now, <clears throat> uh, yes. so it looks the same. Yeah, so, so this, is, this is P. <clears throat> so this is a commutative diagram. So today everything is really smooth, uh, of smooth, smooth, smooth. Of smooth schemes. And here, as yesterday, so this will be et al. And, uh, and uh, so this is, today, uh, this will be smooth of uh, so this is always smooth. So this is ERT dimension two. <clears throat> so we consider such a diagram, and we say uh, if uh, if over V, uh, if it is non-characteristic, is F to uh, S over V, if so the, the, the list is just, uh, looks the same as, as yesterday. So for every uh, B close point, uh, the base change. <clears throat> so this is non-characteristic. It is to the pullback of this S. <coughs> so I keep the number, the same number in here. <coughs> okay, so this is a non characteristic condition. <coughs> Now I introduce uh, SS2. So yesterday we had SS1 because we, we had uh, more smooth curve. Now, now we have SS2. <coughs> so SS2 is that for, for a commutative diagram as above. Uh, so non characteristic implies over V implies uh, local cyclicity. On over the pullback of our complex. <coughs> so, so this is, uh, looks uh, exactly similar to, to the yesterday. So yesterday we had SS1 and uh, we had the same. And also universal operators. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it follows from uh, yes. the theory of vanishing cycle that it, local cyclicity is usually equivalent. Is yeah, 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 yeah. So if, if I, see, this doesn't change if I put this or not. But, but this, yeah, this is easier to yeah, think about. Thank you. <coughs> Okay, uh, yeah, so, so this is uh, a condition we will need. And uh, that the first, first statement I, I'm, I'm going to make is, uh, <clears throat> so we study uh, immersion, so X is our smooth variety, and Y will be a smooth divisor. So, <clears throat> so this is uh, immersion of a smooth divisor. So I, I want to uh, introduce an, another notion that uh, this, this immersion is non-characteristic. So this is the, the, uh, so I need one more definition. <coughs> so 
3.2. So, okay. Okay, so we say uh, this is uh, <coughs> uh, this is uh, uh, <coughs> non characteristic. Or I, in, I need to introduce this, this uh, stronger uh, uh, <coughs> condition. So strictly, so respectively, uh, strictly non characteristic. Uh, if so, the condition is similar uh, as above. So the intersection. So this time, uh, so uh, <coughs> so there uh, we consider the image of the the, uh, the differential from the, the from the target. So this time, uh, so we have immersion. So we, we regular So this is a regular immersion. So we look at the conormal shift. <coughs> So this is a conormal shift. <coughs> uh, yeah. Uh, no, no. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> hmm? Yeah. So we consider this intersection inside the cotangent band. So this 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 is sub, uh, inside the, the, the zero section. So this the first condition looks similar, and the second condition is that, uh, <coughs> and the second condition. So now, now this Ti is a cross subset of X. So so for this first, first uh, just non characteristic. So this so this is a divisor. <coughs> and for for this stronger condition. So we require that uh, <coughs> so this is so this intersection is uh, irreducible and uh, uh, reduced divisor. <coughs> so the first 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 part is just non characteristic but uh, I, I need uh, to to define a, a little stronger uh, condition. <coughs> divisor, you mean Cartier divisor? Cartier divisor, yes. Oh, of course, it's the same because you are. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, uh, yeah. Oh, before before it take intersection, it's div uh, it div divisor. Yeah. Not the same. But then, if you localize the risk, if it's a reducible and reduced, it can become empty. And then, uh, or oh, maybe it's not empty because uh, mm -hmm. the zero section is uh, no. Uh, I'm, uh, mm -hmm. I'm confused. Yeah. So Ti is originally the, the intersection with the, the, with the zero section. So yeah. this is not the risky local uh, property reducible and reduced because it can become empty. Ah. Uh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah, 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 oh, oh, yeah, okay, so, oh, empty, yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay. Yeah, now I can state the first term. <coughs> Yeah, I think I need more space, yes. Now the, the first term <coughs> uh, 
so I put two stars because I, <laughs> I need to assume both SS1 and SS2. Okay, so, so I assume, uh, so we have this single support satisfying. Uh, uh, SS1 and SS2. So by, by, by this definition, this thing is supposed to satisfy SS1, but I also require that it satisfies SS2. <coughs> what do you mean? Yes. You mean that there is a way to associate singular support in such a way it satisfies those properties? And so, do you need it for all schemes at once or just? No, no, just, just for my X. For my, just for my X and K. Mm. So SSK was already SS1 in some sense. Yeah, yeah, SS. In some sense, there is an SSK that satisfies SS. This is the condition. Yeah. So I so I fix X and K and and S. So and I I call this SSK and I I I say this this triple satisfies SS1 SS2. This is this is more precise way to to make this assumption. That okay? So yeah, so they, they are fixed. <coughs> okay, and uh, I take uh, my regular uh, immersion. So, so so this is the immersion of uh, a smooth divisor. And uh, I and I assume that uh, this is strict in the So this strict one. Okay, <clears throat> then the so I, I will explain uh, this notation in, in, minute, in a minute, and I take the union uh, with the uh, zero section. So this is uh, inside the, the cotangent band <coughs> of Y. So this is a single support. Of the pullback restriction of K, <coughs> and uh, the cat, we can compute the character cycle. So the, the, cat, uh, the character cycle of the restriction is given by the pullback of the character cycle. <coughs> so here, what is uh, this I, I seek? So I, to define a seek, so I have uh, correspondence like this. So, <coughs> so we have this restriction to Y and uh, canonical subjection to, yeah, so this is inclusion and this is subjection. <coughs> so, so first we take uh, pullback by, by this inclusion. <coughs> so, so here uh, I get the, uh, uh, why? So this inter intersect uh, this intersection, <coughs> and uh, this uh, non-characteristic condition means that uh, the, the map the, the restriction here is finite. So 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 this implies that uh, by 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 using this uh, co correspondence. Uh, we can define that, that this Im image and also that, that this this cycle. So, so this is uh, so so this non-characteristic is to assure this finiteness, and uh, with this finiteness, we, we can define this and, and that. So this is. Uh, uh, first statement. <clears throat> and I, I prove this uh, uh, theorem in, at the same time as the next one. <clears throat> but uh, so I cannot give a very precise statement of this because this uh, it will require uh, the whole uh, business with uh, ramification theory. So let, let I will be uh, a little vague here. So 
So we have open immersion. So U is a complement. Uh, this is a simple uh, divisor with simple number crossing. And I assume that uh, my, my k is uh, zero extension of f, so f is uh, locally constant, constructive on, on u. And I need to assume one uh, technical condition that, uh, so that we, we may have ramification of this shift f along this divisor d on the boundary. And I, my, my condition is that uh, uh, ramific so, so the ramification of uh, f along d is uh, strongly non-degenerate. Non so, I'm sorry that I don't have time to explain uh, this uh, technical terminology. So this is something close to what Kato uh, introduced to uh, cleanness condition, but in, in non-logarithmic con uh, context. And, this, and this, this is a little bit uh, stronger than, than he, uh, the, uh, the counterpart of his condition. And, but in any case, uh, you using uh, so this is uh, some condition coming from ramification theory. Is this strongly related to the same story? There? No, no. Uh, I I change change slightly. So there it's strictly, and here it's strongly. So there, there's no relation. But the strongly strongly than the generator can be fierce. Can be fierce. Yes, yes. Yeah. If, if there's just an irreducible divisor, does it mean that when you cut transversely, you get more or less the same kind of uh, ramification or, or not. Well, this is like clean. Ah, this is like, like this clean. This is like clean. So, so this, so this condition is that is always satisfied if you remove, uh, so outside uh, co-dimension two, this condition is always satisfied. <coughs> okay, then, the conclusion uh, is that this, so now we, we have uh, this uh, character cycle. So, so this is equal to to what is defined by uh, to, to, to that uh, defined by uh, the ramification theory. So I don't. I, so I don't have. I have no time to, to define. But so if we assume this non-degeneracy ramification theory tells you how to define character cycle, and the the, the, the claim is that uh, this, this is gives exactly what what we are, are talking about. So this includes uh, conormal bundles of uh, of uh, higher co-dimension at least two things. So. In fact, they, in some sense, they don't contribute. They don't contribute. So you yeah. consider only the zero section and the exactly the like uh, one. How yeah. Uh, in, in, if you have wide ramification, we we get just uh, some something like, like, like line bundle over over it is component of divisor. In the case, uh, if you have wide ramification, so this 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 condition implies that uh, you, you get something only some something like a line bundle of a uh, divisor on the boundary uh, plus zero section. Yes, it's the definition we have seen two days ago. Ah, okay, 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 I remember. Yes. <laughs> but this you, see, you you it's included in the theorem that SS one is now satisfied. In some sense, the singular support exists. Well, so in, 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 in this case, ah, in this case, SS1 and SS2 are satisfied. Exactly. Mm. It's a part of the theory. Yeah. So I didn't put any star here. Mm. So, there, there no, so, so this is in condition. So, uh, <clears throat> so in other words, uh, this guy, 
And this, uh, this one uh, satisfies the meaning of formula. So if you if we put it this way, then, then there is no condition. So so we but under this condition, uh, we can define a uh, uh, character cycle, and uh, and that one satisfies the Milner formula we were studying yesterday. So in this way, uh, there is no condition, so we, we don't put any star there. So there is no isoclinical conditional. Yes. You may allow it many slopes? Many slopes, yes. no problem. Yeah. So, because the minimum formula is uh, eta, eta local. Yeah. So the cleanness was, uh, seems to be just for the. For the uh, cleanness, you can localize it also. You no, no, but it is for just the worst. Slow, yes. no, no, I, I take, uh, I, I, I'm allowed to, to make a uh, direct sum decomposition. So if you get a local, you can get a direct sum decomposition, and ah. each one has a step. And for uh, strongly, no generally tell locally you have a direct sum decomposition into isoclinical or not? I'm sorry? So only on the general do, does have to compose it locally to guys which are, which have uh, only one. Uh, yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, if already non-degenerate implies that. No, non-degenerate condition without strict, uh, just non-degenerate implies that. And you didn't define on the general. No, non-degenerate. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have. Like yeah, it's similar to it's similar. It's the uh, generalization of uh, clean in this non 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 rhythmic context. <clears throat> okay, so so. <laughs> So now uh, I I I I very <coughs> fully uh, now I I uh, uh, very briefly sketch how how the the proof work goes and then I give some uh, <coughs> up, uh, con consequence of these two theorems and then if time allows I, I I will go more detail of the proof. Okay. <coughs> so so outline of proof. <coughs> So this is very, uh, here it's very sketchy. So first, uh, I, I put this 3.4 in dimension two. And then I reduce 3.3 .3, uh, from uh, this particular case of 3.4. Uh, and then, then the last part is easy. So it's 3.4 in, in, in general. And for, for this first step, I, I need a global argument. Uh, using uh, proper, proper normal uh, scheme. <coughs> so, and this, this step is rather easy. So if uh, I have a time at the end, I will say some, something on, on this part. But before going there, I, I give you uh, some consequence of these two theorems. The first is corollary. <coughs> so the first statement is uh, the uh, uh, consequence uh, compatibility with smooth movements. <coughs> so if uh, F is smooth, then uh, <coughs> Uh, the constructing uh, character cycle is compatible with uh, the <coughs> pullback, smooth sm pullback. So here, uh, uh, so this, this is just pullback, and uh, this one uh, is uh, again by, by correspondence. So, uh, so this, this time uh, we have a correspondence like this. And uh, here it's just a smooth pullback. 
And here, uh, because this is smooth, so this is uh, injection. So, so the, the, in this case, there are no, no problem, problem in, in defining the, in, in the, the, the left hand, uh, right hand side. Yes. The assumption is that uh, the, sum, the axioms hold for x or for both x and y? Or? Just, just x. Okay. <clears throat> and then it follows that the yeah. SS1 holds for y. I'm sorry? So if you know it for x, it follows that SS1 yeah. works yes. for y, and then you can define the characteristic cycle, and then you can state this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, also, yeah. So also, also this, this includes SS, F star of k is F star of SSK. Yeah. So once you know this, then you, you know that. Okay, so this is the first consequence. <clears throat> and uh, uh, and I, we, I can also deduce uh, formula for Euler number. <laughs> so if x is projective and smooth, uh, then uh, we can compute the Euler number as the <clears throat> the intersection number. Okay, so I will spend some time to, to explain this. That the proof. Okay. So proof is by induction. Uh, proof of 3.6. So this is induction on dimension. And so if the dimension is zero, then there's nothing to prove, essentially. So, so I, I, I use the following lemma. <coughs> so there, <coughs> so I, I take uh, embedding uh, as yesterday, so satisfying this E, condition E as yesterday. Then uh, there is a pencil. Oh, uh, sat satisfying. Uh, first, uh, so this is uh, the map defined by this, this pencil. So this has uh, <coughs> at most isolated characterized point. So, and, and I take a general member of this pencil. <coughs> so, there is the H in this pencil such that <coughs> uh, the intersection, uh, this embedding is strictly non characteristic. And I also need one more uh, intersection, so Z. So this is uh, the intersection with, with the axis of, axis of tensor. <coughs> so this is, uh, so, so this is uh, smooth. So I'm, I'm taking general member, so this is a smooth uh, divisor of this Y. <coughs> and this is uh, also a uh, selector non characteristic. <coughs> And I need one more condition. So, so we may have finitely many uh, characters points. So these uh, characters points 
uh, not to injury, not to contain the in the inverse image of uh, <coughs> of this intersection with the axis. <coughs> So I don't prove this this same, but this is uh, another. Uh, so you can prove this by by using Bayesian theorem. Okay, so then, 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 then to, to, to prove this order of Parker formula, uh, it's rather uh, uh, just a computation. So, so we want to compute this order number. Then, uh, so I want to write the notation to, for, for the pullback. <coughs> so we have this equality. <coughs> and, uh, and to co so we need to compute this guy, but we can apply uh, uh, the Gotham of Safavich formula here uh, using this pencil. Uh, uh, so to, to the order number of L, so this, so this is the chi of L. <coughs> and the, the, the order number of the Zeke fiber. <coughs> And, uh, and we have the total dimension. So you use, uh, you, you run the uh, isolated char uh, points. <coughs> so this is a good and surface. Yeah, so everything is standard. <clears throat> so now I can apply uh, induction hypothesis. So, <clears throat> yeah. So we, we have y here and z here. So we can apply uh, induction hypothesis. And also, uh, so I, theorem I just erased. So plus uh, theorem 3.3. 3. So the, ah. Sorry, I, I forgot to put minus sign there. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, so I don't. Uh, like this. But uh, just to be minus sign here. I, I, I'm sorry for that. <coughs> yeah, so. So this is minus of uh, so by by induction, yeah. Uh, so so he here the codimension is two, so it's even. So I, I don't I don't have a sign there. So I is the, the imagination here, and I prime it. I I I, I these imagination there, <coughs> and uh, and we I also have a Milner formula. So minus the total dimension of this psi u is uh, characterized. So this intersection number <coughs> at uh, at u. So we can we substitute to, to, to this uh, in, in this formula, and uh, we compute. This. <coughs> so substitute uh, substitute, and uh, we need uh, a little more computation. So so plus uh, comp compute chunk classes. 
Then, then we get to the, the equality for all our numbers. Fact in three, three you did not say that the SS2 condition is preserved by cutting with the divisor. From restriction to the design. Ah, yeah, yeah, it's true, yes, yes, yeah. It is? It is, it, yeah, it's preserved, yeah. Uh, where is it used here? By, by, by induction. Yeah, so I cut uh, x by... So why? And uh, I need one more step here. I, I, I need to cut the x two times. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but it was implicitly there. Yeah, so to, to state, uh, yeah. Do you need here the divisor strictly non-characteristic? Yes, yeah, strictly non-characteristic. So I, 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 I by, by this lemma, uh, yeah. But then you have to cut it another. Okay. Yeah. And uh, one one pencil works for, for, for two, two, two times. Yeah. Okay, so remaining uh, 15 minutes, I, I say some more uh, words on, 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 this, uh, on this part. I assume 3.4 in dimension 2, and uh, so in some sense, a uh, reduction to dimension 2. Yeah, but you will not explain dimension. This part is, uh, uh, I, I don't say anything on, on this part. Yeah, so this, this part is basically in the notes by Dreen, but this, this part is new, so I, I prefer to this part. Okay. So, so I take, so this is, a, so, so, so this, is a, this formula. So I want to prove this formula. So to prove, so to, 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 to define characters, so to, to define this side, uh, so the basically the definition was, so, so, let, so let me remind you that the definition is made by, by, by looking at this uh, map, map, map to pencil. So, so it's enough to uh, prove uh, so this equality uh, for uh, so so you you is uh, isolated character point. So we, we let the run this u and the prime and we, we want to prove this type, type of mineral formula, then, then uh, this will imply that equality. So we want to prove this formula. <coughs> so for, for this uh, uh, left hand side, <coughs> so this is by definition, the, the, so this is computed, this is a mineral formula. So the total dimension of a vanishing cycle at U is just to this motion. <coughs> so this is a minimum formula. Yeah? So I go for the other side. We need first to prove that we have SS. Ah, I skipped that, that part, sorry. <laughs> so you assume that uh, SS1 is satisfied after cutting already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means you assume yeah. that you have mean form. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes, yes. <clears throat> and uh, so I, I introduced uh, one uh, uh, notation. So I put the bar. So, so this is reduced to characterized class. So this is uh, the characterized class with uh, <coughs> the comp uh, components of. Uh, uh, the zero section removed.
do, do you take, is it closed or just uh, locally closed? Is it? Ah, clo closed. So this is, so this is a linear combination. So, mm. okay. Then, so this is just a matter of notation. So, so we, we can, uh, <coughs> Uh, rewrite this as uh, the characteristic cycle of this vanishing cycle. <coughs> then, There's a slight abuse of, of notation, so um, yeah. So I just take the 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 coefficient. Yeah, it's a number, so yeah. So you have to get it in the zero section. Yeah, yeah, you can you can say that, yeah. Mm. Yeah, or so you put uh, the the the. The number up as a, as a quotient of the, the, the fiber. Mm. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, so now, so we, we have uh, this, uh, we, we, we are working with uh, this map. So, so this was PL prime. But let me write this, call, call this G. So, I'm, so I have a, uh, uh, so why was the divisor of x? So, so I have a closed immersion. <clears throat> so suppose we are given a map to surface. So I, I want to use SS, SS2. So I take a map to, to P. So this is surface. And, uh, and the character gen. So surface and the line and, this, and uh, so this is also a regular immersion. So suppose we, we, are, we are given such, such a diagram, <coughs> Cartesian diagram, then uh, the, the construction of, so now uh, we, we are using a formalism Luke uh, told us uh, yesterday. So the, this, so we, I continue, so this same thing. Uh, so we, I can switch, uh, Ah, so I assume that the, the singularity here, here is, is uh, quasi finite. So that uh, the, the, the formation of vanishing cycle commit with uh, base change. So now I can put uh, H first. Like this. So this is the computation on the, on the left hand side. Now I go to the right hand side. <coughs> So right hand side, so similarly, <clears throat> so, so, so in the, in the same, same way of writing, uh, so we can, uh, uh, <clears throat> so we, we can uh, write like this, like this. So the put back by DG star of, of I shriek of, <clears throat> uh, yeah, that's the cube. And here the, the switching is uh, easy, but just by uh, intersection theory. And uh, we, so, so, so first here we prove, prove we, need, uh, we need to prove uh, <coughs> A generalization of Milner formula. So, so here, I, so this is a, a generalization of Milner formula. But this, this part is rather, rather easy, so I will skip this part. <coughs> 
So, uh, so we need to compare uh, this and that. So the, the problem is reduced to find such a diagram uh, satisfying uh, that uh, uh, this is equal to, to that. So we need to prove, we need to find uh, such, uh, such diagram satisfying uh, this, this is equal to that. Okay, then the idea is the same, <coughs> same as yesterday. So I we, we, we argue like uh, same method, same method uh, as the proof of the Milner formula. Uh, for PL star, so this was yesterday. So the, the point is that, uh, uh, so first we work with the universal family. And we prove that the flatness of the swan conductor. And I need one, one more point. So, by, so we, we construct so we construct uh, this diagram using a uh, universal family, and uh, we and we, we show that, that both sides are, are some values of uh, flat functions, <coughs> and by by using the flatness of the Swan conductor, then the, we still need to do something more. That, that is that. Uh, so once you prove flatness. We are reduced to show that, uh, that we have equality on, on dense open. And uh, so, equality on, 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 on dense open. So, here we, we use, use the ramification theory. Plus, uh, the fact that we know uh, theorem. Uh, <coughs> 3.4 in dimension two. So we can use the theorem in dimension two because uh, so so here we are we are working with in, 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 in on, on surface. So it so this is the the, the tool to reduce problem to, to in, in this situation. Okay, but but this this part is rather difficult and this part is. So this matter is fairly, fairly similar to, to, to what we have seen yesterday. So I, 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 I close by, by saying something on this point. That you have a singular support in dimension two unconditional. You, you need this result. Uh, that one I don't I don't need. Mm. But uh, I need uh, to know that uh, so in codimension one, uh, <coughs> yeah, the yeah the, the equality of. Uh, uh, this construction and the construction using uh, uh, ramification theory are the same. This is what I need. Yeah. So I need to construct the uh, universal family. So yesterday uh, I used the P check and D and G. So this one's uh, so this P check is the, the dual project space. So we could write this as a Grassmann. And, uh, and this D 
was the full algo variety. And uh, this G was. So, so this part was enough to, to play with uh, SS1. But now I, I want to do something with SS2. So I will complete this in, in, in hexagon. So I put C here and F here, B here. <laughs> so B will be a base and C will be curve and so on. <laughs> okay. And F will be a flag. I don't know what is E. <laughs> so uh, so G G three E uh, it's going to the other way. Flag two three E uh, flag one. One three e, and then in the middle I have flag one two three e. <coughs> so, uh, so we have some grass band, band and uh, and they are uh, they parameterize. Uh, <coughs> So here, here we, we, it parameters dimension two sub subspace in, in, in dimension three space, and, uh, it, it, and so they, they are dual, dual to each other. So they, so they are P two bundles, dual to dual to each other, and uh, and uh, uh, yeah, here we have P one bundle. So the, the, the codimension here is 2, so it's just P1 band. And uh, we have another P1 band here. Because, uh, so here uh, we have a line in plane. And this, we have a Cartesian diagram here. <coughs> so now, uh, with this, uh, <coughs> so by, by this commutative square, uh, we have a map here. Uh, uh, this map. So, mm, over this base space. So this is P1 bundle, and this is P2 bundle. So this is P1. So this P1 bundle is a family of lines in this P2 bundle. <coughs> so, uh, I, yeah. So. If you take for each point of B, we, we get the line inside the plane. And uh, so here we have, ah, so I need a little more space here. And we have from here to map G. And uh, so, Ah, yeah, 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 x cross So this is, yeah, this is uh, what, what we have seen yesterday. So, so this is uh, the universal family with uh, the intersection with uh, axis. So this is codimension uh, codimension two in, in x. And here we have uh, P2 bundle. So, so by, by taking Cartesian product, uh, we get uh, some blow up of uh, uh, x, x cross g. So this is uh, the, some universal version of uh, a universal family of some, some blow up of x. And again, we, we take this. And uh, so we regard this as a universal family parameterized by B of uh, hyperplane uh, sections. <coughs> so, so this is uh, the construction of uh, <coughs> Uh, universal family for, for, for this picture. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm running out of time. So, so using this, this construction, uh, so we, we, we show flatness and, uh, and, uh, <clears throat> and apply the amplification theory uh, to, to, to prove this equality, the, the equality here. So thank you very much. Are there any questions? Mm -hmm. Maybe one.
question. So suppose you, you start with the surface and the locally constant lead sheet and the component of the divisor. So um, no assumption on the ramification. And then I uh, suppose in this case, you, everything is, uh, is OK. So you have singular support. And in, 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 in particular, you have the character to cycle and uh, all formula. So now you, you stated the theorem that uh, formation of the uh, characteristic cycle is uh, pulled back uh, by, uh, by smooth mass. So, so you have your, your surface X, and suppose uh, Y over X is um, maybe um, one-dimensional, but mm -hmm. not really smooth, but maybe uh, some, uh, some isolated singularity, for example, in mm -hmm. this curve. So what would be the, some transversality conditions that uh, somehow the, the formation uh, of the characteristic cycle would be compatible with the pullback? So can, can you weaken the, the smoothness by some kind of a nice uh, transversality condition with respect to the singular support or characteristic cycle? Uh, it's sort of a question. Uh, so, yeah, if... Mm. Can you imagine a non-characteristic motion for morphisms? Yes. Yeah, yeah. But uh, even in relative dimension zero case, so in, 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 so you, you have open uh, inside inside you have etal covering, and but you may have ramification on the boundary, and uh, it, it may kill ramification, but it may preserve ramification. So. The situation must be rather complicated, so uh, I don't know if I can uh, form it. Uh, yeah, so of course there, there should be some non characteristic condition, but uh, uh, yeah, for the moment I don't see uh, how, to, how to put to such a condition. Uh, the composition of vanishing cycles somehow. Yeah. So you take pullback and then, then you take vanishing cycle. So this this construction is very uh, yeah hard to uh, understand. Yeah. But uh, with your formalism, it should, it should come out. Should be some, uh, is it something different from characteristic zero case? That is, for D modules or for the, the, what you said holds or not? Uh, so uh, I have a souvenir of something like this in Kashiwa. Because Kashiwa. there is only w w a thermification characteristic zero. Of mm -hmm. course, the demon is in some sense wild. Mm -hmm. So, but you cannot kill the wild ramification mm -hmm. by doing mm -hmm. something. Jo okay, so, mm -hmm. so it must be that it is different from the characteristic zero. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in some sense, you have the divisor case, and mm -hmm. uh, say your morphism is complete intersection. It's a smooth and it's a, a regular immersion. Mm -hmm. and since you already have the, you can see things as composed. So yeah. It looks like you are able to define an you, you said when a divisor is uncharacteristic. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. You said when a smooth yeah. morphism is not characteristic. But uh, and actually, actually, you have y to x, and you have something on y, something on x, and uh, so uh, yeah. uh, analytic cycles, uh, both sides, and then a related condition for that. Yeah, of course, you can decompose like this, but usually this not this will not be non characteristic. Well, well, I mean, for a pair and a morphism, yeah, for a pair of sheets yes. and morphism, for a pair yeah. of sheets and morphism, you should have a notion. So y to x, instead of just taking a sheaf on ah. x, you take a sheaf on y, a sheaf on x, and a map, yeah, more yeah. complex, and then you should have a related notion of that. You mean a map between the two? Yes, yes, of course. Mm. Between the, the complex and the full map? Yes, 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 yes. To have a map above, yes. I suppose. Mm. <laughs> it was skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too naive, maybe. <laughs> Yeah, in any case, there are many questions in this yeah. area. So. Uh, are there more questions? So may I ask you just to clarify? So as far as I understand, for the case of a surface, you said that the Lean uh, constructed uh, the theory. But what did the Lean do exactly? Uh, <laughs> yeah, so he... he um, so he makes some assumption and uh, 
あんだあんだアサンプションの日生だったらジェスジェスワンシュのビエボというディファインさささキャラクターさサイクサティスファイングミルナフォームやそうジェスイズははステートインヒーズ Uh, is it, uh, is the assumptions satisfied? Yes. Yeah, so yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. So for a surface, yeah. in your approach, yeah. so, so you said that your approach is, so, uh, so what is your approach for a surface? Uh, you, you have to, do, to prove these conditions SS1 and SS2? Yeah. And uh, for a surface, this is, you said, is not difficult because you add Oh, it's not or it, or yeah. it's yeah. okay. so, for, yeah, so for surface, we can, uh, we, we, I, I can prove SS1 and SS2 using, uh, for SS2, it's, it's, uh, it's uh, trivial because I have put some sense conditions. So the, the non-trivial non part is SS1. So it's uh, mapped to, to curve and we, we need to prove local cyclicity. So this, and this is exactly a consequence of uh, semi-continuity of during Roman. Uh, and and uh, uh, as, as, yeah, uh, uh, and to apply this during, during Roman, we need to study the restriction to, to curve. So, so this is a new input from our ramification theory. So may, may I ask you also to, so in the simple case of uh, Artin Schreier, rank one yeah. shift, so I think that Kato studied it, okay, but let us, let, so what is the, so suppose you have a, a normal crossing device or defined a tar locally or formally locally with some part of the coordinates and you have a function regular on the complement, so you, you write it as a Laurent series and the, drop the terms that are peace powers in response. So, mm. I mean, you can, you, up to Artin Shire, I think. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so what is the, so you bring it to some normal form, and then what is the, how do you see the condition of uh, strictly ah. non degenerate yeah. and non yes. okay. Yes, um, so in this case, so, <coughs> So cut all code it uh, refines one, but uh, but this is uh, within a logarithmic context. So we 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 have some variant of this. So this is, so if your equation is T P to T T is F. So this is this is basically uh, D of F. So F may have some uh, pole, but uh, uh, you 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 can regard this as. Uh, <coughs> And some differential form, and uh, this differential form define, gives you a cycle in, in, in the cotangent bundle. And uh, and if hmm? I think actually it should write in the f over f over x x to the n or something like that. Yeah. And then you have. Yeah. Like that. And this is in co-dimension one. Yeah, co-dimension one. Yes. Yeah. This uh, and this uh, yeah the base. Mm. And f is a function of y. And, uh, yeah. Then you. Uh, Okay, so in the neighborhood of the generic point of the, of the divisor, yeah. but the condition of uh, don't degenerate or strong or strictly non degenerate, so you can read it off from the function. Yeah, yeah. So you so you regard this as a, some some differential form on the bound on, on this divisor, and then then you 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 ask uh, if uh, there is zero or not zero or pole. Or, there are pole. And if then it's it's a non local basis, then, then you are you are in this non non generated situation. On each component. Yeah. And in this case non degenerate is the same as strictly non degenerate or mm, this strictly non generator is a little tricky condition. So so in, in so you may have some some component it may, may tame. Tame line fight, and at some component it may, it may divide line fight, and I don't want to, the, the, that they meet. I, I, I need to remove the intersection of the tame line fight component and the wide line fight component. So rank one shift? Yeah, for any, 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 ah. any rank case. But if it is just Artin Schreier, there is no tame line fight. Yeah, uh, but, mm, 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 yeah. And for p equal two, maybe you get some uh, numbers, so some degeneracy. Ah, yeah, yeah. P, p equal two, two is exceptional, yeah.
Ah. <laughs> ah. <laughs> okay, so uh, we'll save the speaker again.